Hi, and welcome to Five Minute Ballerina Legs. This workout was inspired by my days when I was a professional ballerina. I used to do these moves every single day. So I know you're gonna love it and you're going to feel like a graceful ballerina by the end of this workout. You don't need any equipment at all. If you need some stability, you can stand near a wall or near a ledge or something like that. Um, but also, you can actually download this entire workout on my website if you go to actionjacqueline.com and you join my newsletter, you will be able to get access to this workout as a printable PDF, my gift to you. So my name is Jacqueline Yumov, and this is my YouTube channel, Action Jacqueline, where I help you take action towards loving your body, mind, spirit, all starting from being on the mat and moving. All right, so let's get started with this workout. going to start in a first position. So all of these exercises are one minute long. So we're going to do everything on the right side first and then everything on the left side. Uh, you're going to feel the burn a lot more that way <laughs> because you're going to fatigue one leg and then go into the other leg. Um, so that means that each move is going to be 30 seconds long uh, since we're doing this, you know, our, this is our five minute workout. Okay, so we're going to start in an attitude position. So you're going to be in first position. I'll show you from the front first. This is your first position. So to find it, you just start in parallel and you just naturally open the toes up. Okay, so you don't need to um, force anything at all. Just naturally turn it into a first position. Then you're going to take the leg behind you. You can place the hands on the hips to start and you're going to lift the leg up into an attitude. So from this side, you want to have the toes actually higher than the knees. Okay, so the toe isn't below the knee, the toe is above the knee. And then the toes should be about where your belly button is. Okay, if you need to take it a little bit lower, that's okay, but still have the, the foot in the midline of the body. You don't want it out or crossed, all right? So for this particular position, you're right here in the midline of the body. So we're going to lift up right here for 30 seconds. Hold your balance. If you need to hold on to something, of course, you could hold on to a wall, a ledge, your dresser, uh, whatever it is, okay? So 30 seconds right here, let's go. Lift and lift. Just little tiny pulses. You're gonna definitely feel the standing leg working a lot, and that's good. So we're using both of our stabilizer muscles on both of our legs to do this exercise. Pull the lower belly up. You can try experimenting with the lit arms. You can bring them out in front of you. Make sure that the elbows are lifted up out into a second position. Good, feel the feet on the floor. Make sure you're doing this barefoot as well. I forgot to mention that. Good, 10 more seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay right there. You're just going to do little extensions. Extend, extend, 30 seconds here. You can take the leg lower if you need to. That's okay. But eventually you can begin to raise the leg up. Good. Keep the chest up nice and tall. Maybe the arms get tired. You can bring them back onto your hips. That's okay. Good. Extend, extend. Keep the chest up nice and high. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and one, nice, we're going to tap the leg down now, lifting up nice and tall, and then lift from there. Good, 30 seconds right here. So straight leg lifts. If the arms are out, make sure that the elbows are lifted up and the fingertips are kind of drooping down. So you don't want the, it to be this way where the elbows are down and hands up. The fingertips are lower than the elbows. Good, lift. And lift, lift up high through the crown of the head. Last 10 seconds. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay, so now we're going to do all of that on the left side. Okay, so coming into a first position. Let's go this way. 
first position and then move the legs back into attitude. Lifting up, open the arms up, pull the lower belly in and let's go. Up and up. So really feel that standing leg supporting you. Point the toes behind you. Make sure that the foot isn't too close to the hips like this. It's a nice open and long line, even if the leg is bent. Good. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and little extensions right into it. I know the arms might get tired as well. That's okay, lift up tall through the chest. Keep breathing. Continue to pull the lower belly up and in. Good, last five seconds. Nice, lower the leg down. I know those arms are working as well. Here we go, lifts right here. Continue to turn out the leg, squeeze the booty, and lift, 30 seconds. Maybe you can hold onto a ledge if you're feeling unstable. It's a good way to start so you can find your balance and strengthen yourself and then move into the center floor like this. Good. Keep the crown of the head lifting up nice and tall like someone was pulling your ponytail up towards the sky. Good. And lift. Lift. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Okay, so we've got two more exercises. Now we're gonna do each of these for one minute. So come into a first position, and we're gonna do releves just like this, squeezing the booty together. You're gonna lift up high onto releve, high, high onto the big toes, and lower down for a third, or sorry, one minute right here. Here we go, up and down, up and down. So the hardest part is keeping the legs really straight and squeezing the glutes on the way down. Good, so have that resistance on the way down. Instead of just letting the legs drop like that, kind of being heavy, you want to resist, be really, really light on the way down. Good, I'm like out of breath, so hope you are too at home. Good, pull the navel in towards your spine. Let it pull in and all the way up through your sternum and chest to really help with your posture and poise. Good, still lifting up through the crown of the head. You can experiment with the arms. You could take them here, or you could take it out to the side to open up. Nice job, last 10 seconds here. Good, give a little balance here. So come up high onto the toes. Think of the weight on the big toe and second toe. Bring the hands in, lift up high through the toes. Pull the navel in, straighten those legs up nice and long, and then lower down. Good, we're gonna come into a second position now, doing the same thing there in our second position. So squeeze those glutes, that's what's gonna help you stay nice and stable. Good, so high up onto the toes, lower down. Good, one minute right here. You're gonna definitely feel those calves here, those hamstrings burning. So again, think of the weight in the big toe and second toe. Don't let the weight go into the pinky toes. Keep them forward, good. You can experiment with the arms. So you can take it here in the first position with the arms, open it up into second position, or you can take the hands on the hips if it's just too much to think about, good. Lift up high onto those toes. Really, really high up. Think of lifting tall through the crown of the head. Squeeze the glutes. Last 10 seconds here. Good, last five, four, three, two, one, let's take a balance, stay up high on those toes, lift up tall through the crown of the head. I know it might be burning a little bit, but see where you can find energy through your breath. Press down to the floor through those toes, lift up higher through the top of the head. Open up the arms maybe, see if you can continue to hold your balance. 
lifting up, reaching, extending long through the fingertips, and then let the heels come down, and I want you to come all the way back into a first position, and then bring the hands down. Nice job. And then let's bring those arms back up one more time. We're going to do a little stretch forward to release everything out. So heels are together. Nice forward fold. Lift up tall and then exhale. Forward fold all the way down. Nice job. Nice big deep breath in. Bend the knees. A little stretch here. Release the head. Let everything kind of hang and be heavy. Keep the hips up high. Let the knees open and then press it up. Press the legs straight. And again, two more times just like that. Bend the knees, let the head be heavy, let the chest be on the thighs. Straighten the legs, stay in your forward fold. One last time. Nice big plie. And straighten the legs, slowly roll up. I want you to come up the same way we came down. So starting with the crown of the head reaching forward, open the arms up nice and wide, squeeze the booty as you come up to keep yourself nice and stable, and then float the arms down like a graceful ballerina. All right, shake it out. You are all done. Thank you so much for joining me in this five-minute ballerina workout. I hope you loved it. It's so much fun. I grew up a ballerina, so it just takes me back to those days. Let me know if you like this and if you want to see more videos just like this. And you can actually go to my website, actionjacqueline.com, and get this workout as a free PDF. So go to actionjacqueline.com and download your own copy. And uh, thanks so much for working out with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.